Yes, Jesus is our Savior. To welcome to parents, grandparents, everyone that's here for our closing service at our Vacation Bible School this year. We've had a great time with all the children. I know the children have had a great time having all sorts of fun, great food, activities, crafts, and of course, learning about Jesus. The theme for this year was Splash Canyon, and the idea really was every day there is something, some stories, something from the Bible that had something to do with water. And each day had its own theme. I'm going to tell you a little, about, a little bit about each day as we go through today with our closing service. But every morning and at the end of every morning, we always open and then close with a video. Look at these two guys, kind of, kind of funny, wacky guys, Adam and Jordy. And we haven't seen today's closing video yet, so we're going to do that right now. This morning we saw them have a challenge for each other. You're going to see the results of that challenge here. And we're back. Yes, we actually walked on eggs. And it was amazing. An egg isn't as fragile as it may seem. Eggs can be easily broken, but they're surprisingly strong. Yeah, because of the curved shape of an egg, the egg is actually strongest at the pointy end and at the rounded end. The curved shell distributes pressure evenly so that it can withstand our weight. What happened after Jesus was baptized was totally unexpected and completely amazing. When Jesus went up from the waters, the heavens opened up and the Spirit of God descended on him like a dove. And a voice from heaven declared, This is my beloved Son with whom I am well pleased. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, all there, completely unexpected and completely amazing. Truth up! Jesus kept God's promise when he died on the cross. And when he rose again. Jesus is our Savior. Today's exploration is amazingly attractive. Here are five of God's promises. God is with us. God gives us life. God is faithful. God gives hope. And Jesus is our Savior. Now I'm going to take this magnet and put it under this tray. Watch what happens to the promises. The metal paper clips are attracted by the magnet. Look, all of God's promises are together. This reminds us that God keeps all of his promises, every single one. Amazing! All God's promises are yes in Jesus. So let's take it home. God's promises are true. God kept his promise to save us through his son Jesus. Jesus died on the cross to pay for our sin and rose in victory so that we have God's promise of life with him forever. Through his word and in baptism, God gives us faith, and all of God's promises are ours. Truth up! Thanks for watching. We'll see you later. So each day we had a specific theme. But before we get into each day, um, the children are going to sing the theme song for the entire week, God's on Our Side.
job, guys. So, on Monday, the theme was God is with us, yes, He is. And uh, like I said before, the, the theme of Splash Canyon, everything had something to do with water. So the Bible story was baby Moses. See, the government at that time had actually ordered that every baby boy be killed. And so Moses' parents didn't want that for him, and they kept him. Ultimately, they, they had to hide him in a little basket in the water. And God worked it out. God was with baby Moses and actually worked it out so that Moses would be raised by Pharaoh's daughter, the king's daughter, the princess. God was with Moses. And so that was the theme for that day. Every day, the students learned a, uh, a Bible challenge verse to, to memorize an actual verse of the Bible. But it was fun because it was with music. And so that verse was Exodus 3.12, and they're going to sing that for you. Have a seat, children. And now the preschool are going to come and sing Hooray, God's There.
on day two, the theme was God gives us life. Yes, he does. And the Bible story there was God bringing his people, the, the children of Israel, into a brand new land, a brand new home. And so they're beginning a new life. Of course, we know that God gives us not just life here, but on top of that, he gives us eternal life in heaven. And that's because of Jesus. And so the Bible verse for day two was 1 John 2, verse 25. And they're going to sing that song for you. Stand up. And now the kindergartners and first graders are going to come up and sing, Stand On Up. sing all the way to the back of the room.
job. On day three, by the way, I forgot to mention for day two, the connection with water was when God brought the Israelites into their new land, the promised land, they had to cross through a river. But miraculously, God provided that the river parted ways. There was no problem for them. Day three, God is faithful. Yes, he is. He keeps his promises. And here God kept a promise to Naaman that he would be healed of a horrible disease, leprosy, he went and washed in the, Le in the Jordan River. See, God keeps his promises, every single one he makes. And so the theme verse for that day was Hebrews 10, verse 23, and they're going to sing that for you now. So children, stand up. And now grades two and three, second and third graders, come on up. You're going to sing Jump, Jump.
So on day four, the story was one where um, God rescued the Apostle Paul from water. Because Paul and those who were with him were shipwrecked. And so the theme for day four was God gives us hope. Yes, he does. And the Bible challenge for that day was Isaiah 43, verse 2. It's actually one of my favorite verses. They're going to sing that for you right now. So children, stand up. And now the older grades, grades four through six, will come on up and sing God Delivers. Great job. All right, so day five, which is today, the last day. The theme was Jesus is our Savior. Yes, he is. And so they looked at Jesus being baptized by John the Baptist. And of course, when that happened, and you heard this in the opening video, 
heaven opened up and you heard the voice from God the Father say, this is my son whom I love. With him I'm well pleased. And of course, Jesus is our Savior because he did everything perfect and he gave that perfect life as a sacrifice for all our sins on the cross. And so the theme verse for today was 2 Corinthians 1 verse 20. So let's sing that, children, stand up. again and after that theme song parents grandparents you just stay put we're going to excuse the children go to their homerooms i have a few things for you but we're going to do the theme song one last time All right, children, you can have a seat. Have a seat. All right, as you can see, we had a lot of children. We had 124 children this week, and we had 68 volunteers making our Vacation Bible School happen. So I just want to say, make sure, children, you do this. Say thank you to all the volunteers and helpers. Great job. Okay, so um, in just a minute, I'm going to excuse the children to go to their homerooms. Parents, if you're picking them up, um, grandparents, whoever you're picking up, go to their homerooms once I dismiss them. But just a reminder, we want as many of these 124 kids to be here this coming Sunday. So not just you know what they sound like when they sing together, but the entire congregation. So we're going to have them sing at our 930 church service. So please join us for that. Bring the children, and it will be, it'll be absolutely wonderful. All right, so preschool. Where is our preschool? 
All right, you guys can go to your homeroom.